How's everybody doing out there in Nibiru land? Check it out. Welcome to C for Null channel. Been on the on the air for about June fifteenth till now. Never believed in Nibiru. Never believed in Nemesis or Planet X. But one thing I did have was a vision in 1985 uh, when I first met Jesus. And uh, what happened was I had this vision of Nibiru in space. I was hovering in space. Um, I could breathe. Everything was normal. A little scary. And I seen Nibiru go by my right side. And the Lord Jesus spoke to me from behind and said, Do not be afraid. And I want to tell you today, do not be afraid. Jesus, God, the Father God, is in control of all this. Um, Revelations 8 and 9, you can read about it in your Bible. If you have one, if not, comment. Maybe I'll get you one soon. Anyways, uh, Revelations 8 and 9, uh, the polar shift, and all that's going to happen with that. I hope you guys can hear me okay this morning. I have this new headphone headset, and I'm getting used to it. Um, I was putting up this picture this morning right here. This is Mexico Cam 2. It's a different location. Anyways, you see right in the middle there, um, I don't know if you could see that right in the middle, straight up, is this a huge orb. There you go. Show it to you. I don't like to do too much on this cam because it pulls up those little uh, advertisements. Anyways, it's, it's orbiting to the right. <clears throat> you see that? It's going close to the right there. And as we watch it, you know, it's very faint. If you hold your computer back, you can see some stripes in it. Now, some people say, well, you just, you know, there's sites that are coming up debunk and trying to debunk everything that us Nibiru people, researchers, are doing. And um, actually, he made a fool of himself because nobody puts pictures what he showed. Nobody puts those pictures up. We know they're lens flares. We know what lens flares are. This is not a lens flare. I believe, see, that right there is just orbiting, you know, and... Okay, it's going to come back up. <clears throat> this is going to be a long one. But I'm going to talk to you for a while. Um, you know, i got people trying to debunk me, and i got trolls out there. But I found out one thing. If the trolls are not too harmful, um, I treat them pretty nice. And actually, a few of them, I think they're getting convinced that we're actually seeing something. Because we're putting so many pictures up, so many videos up. Uh, there's something like the other day, 16 million Nibiru brand new videos went up Sunday morning. There's some ridiculous amount of numbers. People are watching. People are starting to wake up. You see that? It's moving to the right. Here comes the sun, and it's kind of moving to the right. Now the sun blurs it out. There you can see it behind the cloud. Okay. It, it seems to be going to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And this thing is just going minute by minute. I'm not going backwards at all on these videos, um, on these clips. So... <clears throat> stuff's happening out there guys and um, we're the ones catching the footage and showing the people now here's another this is playa right here playa mexico right smack underneath the sun as you see it go through you're going to see it just go boom you'll see it and i got it going forward and backwards on this one a little bit mostly forward um you can see where i'm at i'm going to put it on the daytime right now i'm going to slow it down a little bit I'm going to slow it down so you can really watch. Okay, so here we go. Let me adjust my camera. Um, someone told me my site's a waste of time. There's no commentary. Hey, I don't have to commentary. These planets are commentary for themselves. These, these pictures speak for themselves. You know, if I'm not seeing this, you know, someone tell me. Because I'm seeing what I see. You know, right here it's going, it's going right there in the middle. Right under the sun. So you say, well, that's just a lens flare. I don't think so. This is two different locations at the same time, guys. Same time of day, same day. Two locations facing south, southeast. And you see the sun come up and go over. We're more like east than southeast. Um, and you know, as you watch it come up, you see the black spot in the middle? Many of you are probably saying, what is the black spot? Well, that's the Fresnel lens. And there's this, um, if you go to Jeff P's site or even WSO with Alex, they explain this stuff pretty good. Um, they've been doing this for six, seven, eight years. I've been doing this for about five months. So, you know, um, what I'm doing is I'm watching, I'm praying, and as I see stuff, I'm telling you about it. Um, I'm telling you what I know. It's not fact. It's just my opinion and what I've been taught. We could all be wrong. And then we could all be right. Now, if we're all right and there's going to be a, a polar shift, 
my question to all you folks out there is the ones that don't know Jesus, are you willing to be convinced enough that this is real to meet Jesus? You know, to get your soul saved, get forgiven of all your sins, to receive his healing grace? Are you willing? You know, the question is, are you willing? I see this stuff that scares me, and I have security. I have Jesus. I know where I'm going if this thing hits the earth. Do you know where you're going? Anyways, um, it's pretty easy to accept the Lord. On all my videos, usually at the end, there's a salvation plan. Otherwise, I pray a little prayer with you. You just repeat it. Believe in your heart and uh, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you're saved. They see the white pictures. I can't go by those too many times. Those white pictures are them taking out segments of the film. If you look in the right-hand corner, it's jumping about every two or three minutes. No, it's jumping about every 20 seconds or something. But every time you see a white picture, that's them trying to block the sun sim, you know? So, anyways. So I couldn't get no sound on any videos I tried to put up. So you got one that was just silent, and I don't think I even put music on it, um, of the first clip I showed you on this. But this one I wanted to narrate, and I really wanted you guys to, to just see what's going on. Um, I've noticed Friday, Thursday, chemtrails were being laid in the West Coast. Lots of chemtrails being laid on the West Coast. Lots and lots of chemtrails. All right, guys, my computer just went down. What's going on? I don't know. Just stopped. All right, if anybody can hear me, I'm not looking at anything right now. My computer just went black. I don't think these uh, elite like my my work and what I'm trying to do. Wow, this sucks. Okay, you guys there? I don't know what that was about. Sorry about the interruption if this thing's still recording. Anyways, the white spots, the, uh, the elite, you know, the powers to be. Right there, the orb, right underneath the sun. See that? Both in the same direction. Anyways, the white spots are um, right there, the white flashes. Those are them taking slides out. You know, this thing is every three minutes is clipping. See, so they keep taking spots out. Now it goes black. That was, you know, that's the cam. I'm going to show it to you again. You know, this is, uh, this is not very exciting, but it's a great sunset. And they can see, <clears throat> I almost literally have to unplug from the Internet completely because they're, no matter what virus program I put in, it seems like they're getting in and just confusing my computer. I've cleaned it, I've updated it, I've done everything, it runs great, and as soon as I start doing a video or anything, it's like they got a program in my in my system um, that my antivirus is just not catching, and they seem to be manipulating me any way they want to, just like these pictures, see how they manipulate the white shots, they take them right out, three, there was three right there they took out, I'd like the three, that, I'd like to see the three they took out, you know, anyway, so, I'm rambling. Um, the sun simulator, I was talking about that, the black spot, you know, that's part of the whole system. It takes a number of satellites and um, finale lenses with lots of uh, prisms, and they just try to confuse the issue of which one's real. A at this point, I don't care which one's real because, like, right there, I'm showing you where it's going to land, right, where that one's going to show. Let's say that's not the planet, but it's a reflection of the planet between the sun and the sun simulator. And so it throws a, a, a circle, an orb, that looks like a planet. Now there's also blue beam, and I've checked that out years ago. Blue beam, sitting the skies up like projectors. Well, all this stuff they're doing with the sun simulator, with the satellites, they could do blue beam. 
it's in progress it's being actively used so <clears throat> i'm here to show you signs in the sky signs in the moon signs in the stars signs in the heavens you know and it's the last days when we see these signs we know that the jesus is going to return our jesus our lord jesus is going to return soon and um and so to me they're just all signs what what the bible told us we will see it doesn't matter if it's man-made signs it doesn't matter if it's nibiru and nemesis signs um, what matters is that I'm waking people up that something's going on in our skies, up in our space program. Uh, it's compromised 100%, guys. Everything is compromised by the elite. You know, people have been reporting they're hearing big booms. I heard booms in my house here, my new house I'm living in now, for two years before they stopped. Just sounds like, I don't know, like a giant sledgehammer hitting a mallet, you know, or an anvil. Giant sledgehammer hitting an amble and middle of the night you'd hear it boom boom so you know they're still building tunnels around here um i haven't heard in about a month oh back to the chemtrails now when you i start seeing chemtrails over my house like crazy what i normally do guys to find really good shots of all this is i will go to the iss as they're panning the earth and wherever i see the most chemtrails i go find cameras in those areas where there's no chemtrails and I try to catch some really good shots. And it's been working so far. People have been wondering, how are you getting so much, so many good shots? Are you faking them? Are you Photoshopping them? No, I'm taking them right off the cam, live, showing you guys. So when I go to ISS, space satellite, and I start searching for where the chemtrails are, I've noticed that the oceans will be clear, but land masses will be full of clouds or chem clouds. And so what I do is I look for a landmass that's like half the country's covered, and I try to find cams in the southern region or the eastern region. Once I find a cam, I know where the chemtrails are in the south or the north or wherever, and then I start panning, you know. I start pointing my cameras, you know. So right now, everything's on the west coast. If you go to the Mexico cameras, uh, Mexico cams, you know, and it's all facing west and southwest and southeast at the west sunsets and the east sunrises you're going to see a lot of till green green um, which is indication bright yellows and bright oranges more than a normal sunset and it's good indication that nibiru is in the area here goes my computer again just shut down on me okay i'm gonna call it quits guys see if i can fix this and um, I hope you enjoyed this. Send it to your friends. God bless, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.